Joining BYU Sports Nation right now, BYU decathlete Chase Dalton. He's headed to the NCAA Track and Field Championships in Eugene, Oregon in the near future. Chase, welcome to the show. Uh, I read an article where uh, it said that that someone asked you if you were the best overall athlete at BYU, and then you in a, humbly, in a humble way kind of said, well, I, I don't know if I'm ready to say that, but I, I guess I believe that myself. Where does that come from? Where does that confidence come from? <laughs> I, I guess it just comes from uh, the years of training, you know, um, the, the work that I put into it, um, and then the past successes that I've had. Chase, you're from Tigard, Oregon. That's in the Portland area. You're going a couple hours south to Eugene, kind of the home of track uh, in the U.S., Hayward Field there. What does it mean to you to be able to compete in your final competition in your home state? Oh, it, it's so great to go out like this. Uh, I mean, this is – this is the first time I've, I've done the decathlon at the NCAA championships. Um, and then just to be able to do it in front of my family. I mean, they haven't been able to see me compete very much since I've been in college. So um, it's, it's a wonderful way to, to end my, my season at my career at BYU. Ten events in the decathlon. And this is why you would qualify as maybe the best overall athlete to BYU. 100-meter dash, 110 hurdles, 400 meters, 1,500 meters, long jump, high jump, shot put, discus, javelin, pole vault. Anybody else want to get involved in that? How, how taxing <laughs> is it preparing to compete in an event like this at the highest level in the NCAA? Uh, the training is, I mean, it's really down to a science. You, you have to try not to, to overwork your body. Um, you have to plan out what you're going to do on what days. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's tiring. That's why uh, <laughs> I, but I, I like doing things that, not a lot of people like to do. You know, it's fun doing things that other people can't do. You know, it's too hard for other people. <laughs> Absolutely. Chase Dalton is on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, you're ranked eighth in the decathlete. Your time at the Texas Relays puts you as the, I guess, eighth best score in the country. Where do you want to finish in the NCAA championships? Where do I want to finish? <laughs> Wait, number <laughs> well, one. Uh, number one, baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when, when you get to, the, to this level, um, everybody thinks it's their day. You know, it, and if and if you don't, then you don't really belong here. Um, you don't go in thinking, oh, I, I'm just happy to be here, or at least you hope not. Um, but, I mean, I'm, I'm up there with the rest of the guys, and I know that whoever can just pull out a, a good decathlon is going to go away with the gold. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and I'm not saying that in an in a arrogant way, but you just, have to, you just have to carry yourself that way to be able to compete at, at this level. BYU decathlete Chase Dalton on BYU Sports Nation. I heard you had an interesting trip up to Oregon, uh, maybe an unexpected stop along the way. Were, were you part of the the track and field team that uh, didn't have the smoothest trip to Oregon? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That was just yesterday. We were we were, we were backing up uh, uh, the plane and we just felt a little crunch. Looked out the window and our plane was. T our plane wing was tied up with another plane wing, so what? I was back into wow. the plane. So. <laughs> so we survived our first plane crash. <laughs> Where, was that in Salt Lake? Where was it? Yeah, that was in Salt Lake. Yeah, so we had to get off the plane and, and wait for them to fly in another plane for us. But oh I mean, we, we we still got here, but it was just uh, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty. Funny. Anytime you're in a plane and you hear a crunch. That is not that, a good thing. Not good. You hope that you're on the ground and not in the air when that happens. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, glad, oh, that, yeah, no glad that you survived that. I love that. that you're laughing about it. Yeah. An <laughs> another thing that you survived that we read uh, in an article in the Salt Lake Tribune is that uh, you had an incident with a cactus and a birdcage on your mission. What can you tell us about that? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I, I don't, maybe I could have said it a, diff uh, a little better. Um, but yeah, I was just helping. <laughs> I was just helping some people move. We were moving a, a giant chicken coop, like one that had railroad ties and everything in it. And I was holding on to the bottom, and everyone else was holding on to the top. And the, the two separated, and it came down, and it, and it smashed my hand between the railroad ties and a barrel cactus. And it took uh, the other three guys just to pick it up to get out of my hand. So after I pulled the the thorns and everything out of my hand, and uh, yeah, it was, it was broken. It was broken pretty good. Wow. <laughs> How are you a decathlete after an incident like that? Oh, <laughs> that, that's 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 not the fact. Every every athlete goes through injuries like that, no matter really what sport. Um, just, but it was on my mission. I had time to heal. <laughs>
It's super, super normal, uh, super normal life you've led to uh, one, do the decathlete, to be in that plane, to have your hand broken with a cactus I and mean, a bird cage. <laughs> this is just super normal. Um, what's, I guess, uh, what's the thing that you think about um, the most as you participate in the decathlon to try and motivate yourself to win that national championship? Oh, I mean, during the competition, uh, I'm, I'm just thinking about what I'm doing at that exact moment. It's, Ten it different a, times. A <laughs> yeah, no matter what I'm doing, even if I'm not competing, if I'm sitting resting, I'm thinking about I'm resting. I'm I'm uh, trying to focus on what I'm doing exactly right now, so I don't get anxious for the future and, and waste energy getting all you know energized for the for the next event. I'll just do that when it comes, so I can save energy to preserve it for the whole for the whole event. Chase Dalton, BYU decathlete on BYU Sports Nation. We wish you the best at Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, and hopefully no more crunching plane incidents on the way back. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.